Question, just wondering, did you ever take an odd job when you were quite young? I mean, like quite young, you know, sort of like a chore or an errand for a family member or a friend. Be right back. We'll talk about it. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. I love to help people keep their money. Let's talk a brief moment. I want to go back to my Rolo Dex of memories. If you know what a Rolo Dex is, then you're in my age bracket. <laughs> a Rolo Dex is simply sort of looking like a Ferris wheel of index cards of which you could, you know, look through, thumb through letter A, letter B. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe some people still have one. Anyway, going through my Rolo decks of memories, I remember my very, very first job. My very, very first entrepreneurial job. What was it? Walking my neighbor's dog. <laughs> one of the neighbors in the building of which I lived in uh, had a French poodle. I, I'm not too, um, let's say, familiar with working with larger dogs, but this little Beautiful French poodle was just the sweetest. As a matter of fact, his name was Pierre. <laughs> he was the cutest thing. When I was a kid, I thought he was wearing a diamond collar. Of course, it was rhinestones, but that's how young I was. <laughs> anyway, uh, the owner of the dog, you know, had some physical challenges and couldn't get out of his office. Perhaps she would have loved to have done so and everything. So, I was the person, it was either myself or my little sister at that time, we would, we would share our joint venture <laughs> and walk Pierre downstairs around the block. And uh, this is back in the ancient days of the 1960s, you know, like kind of things people watch on TV, the 60s. <laughs> Anyway, making a long story short, that was my first job, and it paid a whopping 50 cents per walk. Now, believe me or not, back in the 60s for a little kid to earn 50 cents for a little task like that it was fun. I didn't care. I love walking, Pierre. It was like just a fun thing to do. And, uh, you know, 50 cents here, 50 cents there. Let's time the 50 cents times five times a week. That was $2.50 a week times four weeks out of the calendar month. And I got my 10 whopping bucks of which, remember, I mentioned that school bank account thing that we used to have back in the day. And anytime I had an opportunity, I would spend some, I would keep some, and I would save some. OK, so, OK, so that was one of the uh, first little little jobs I took. Let me know, by the way, in the comment section below, if you ever did anything like this. And, you know, it had me thinking about, you know, fast forward 100,000 years later <laughs> to the present time. Now, I don't walk dogs. OK, but and there's nothing wrong with walking dogs. And a matter of fact, there is a huge market for dog walkers. Uh, especially here in the city, just wondering, how about in your neck of the woods? Is there a need for that? Perhaps, yes. There's many people are working during the day and, you know, maybe Fido needs to walk or somebody's going away and maybe somebody needs a pet sitter. If you enjoy animals, if you love animals and, you know, you treat them right and do all the good things, this is a side hustle not to be overlooked. I know of some people that have turned this occasional favor type errand for someone of which they got a little hobby pay for it, if you will, they have eventually turned it into a full time business. I kid you not. For example, there's one person uh, that I'm aware of that walks four dogs a couple times a day. I have no idea, you know, what the fee is, but let's just say, I would imagine, you know, I've heard of people making maybe 60 to 80 bucks a walk and people are 
willing beyond actually willing to pay for this thing. Okay. So that's a service task. Okay. Um, another thing, if you are crafty, okay. And you just, you love making crafty type things. Why not turn your passion, your hobby, your love of what you do into something that pays? You could do it. You could do it. You could do it from the comfort of your home. Sometimes little, little things turn into big, big things. Some people maybe prefer working with cats, be a cat sitter, for example. Somebody goes on vacation, they rather leave their cat in their own home environment and they you know, get a you know, trusted person to watch their cat. Some people even do plant sitting, if you will. Well, you're not just going to sit around and stand next to a plant and look at it for two weeks. No, <laughs> watering it, you know, taking care of it. There are so many things under our nose. I wonder if we're underestimating. I wonder if we're underutilizing. I could tell you this much. Even if a person increased their income, here's the good, beautiful, positive news. If you start up a side hustle in such a manner, let's say that your only goal is to earn an extra 50 bucks a week. 50 bucks a week could be life changing for some people. 50 bucks a week is $200 a month. So you could have it to either just toss into savings if you want, or to put uh, towards paying down a debt, getting rid of that elephant in the room. And may I mention to you that on Saturday, July 9th, so mark your calendar, Saturday, July 9th, Debbie from the How Debbie Saves channel and myself, we are going to do a collab about debt management. Don't miss it. I already recorded mine. I'm sure she's in the process or has already recorded hers. Uh, hers. And it's going to air on at 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, July 9th. And I give specific companies, specific companies that will help a person get out of debt. So that's in the future. But in the meantime, if you have an opportunity, you know, do things like that and consider, write down how much could this amount help me? First, have a goal. Write down how much would you, what is your target earning price? What are you uh, aiming to earn? Even if it's $50 a week, even if it's $25 a week, for example, um, can you do childcare just one afternoon, one afternoon, maybe for four hours or whatever, um, or one evening, whatever, you know, the sky is the limit. There is really, in my opinion, this is my opinion. Now you can throw it out with the water. <laughs> in my opinion, in today's day and age, there really is really Zero excuse about saying that there are no possibilities of earning extra income. And the extra income doesn't have to be earth shattering. Okay. Now, just this morning, for anybody that now, if you're listening to this in the future, just this morning, I uploaded an audio show, my instant coffee with Jan show, talking about how $20 could have dramatically helped someone change their life. I'm going to hook that up in the uh, description below because I think that video is very, very important. So there's something to be said about small, humble beginnings that could turn into real money. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be earth shattering because it's going to enhance whose life? Your life. Never, ever forget that. So just imagine little Janet walking around the city with Pierre. <sighs> always wanted to be my own boss from day one. There you go. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care. Bye-bye.